Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We are looking as menacing as ever and we just kind of finished uh, our practice with our death metal band. So let's just get back to world domination if we can. Uh, and we're kind of ready to head out. Uh, I kind of made sure last time that uh, we're going to be... So let's just go toward the quest and go with squad one. It's not going to progress uh, the town events. <clears throat> but that's fine. Deep in the dank recesses of the cave networks, you find what looks to be a mural. The language of the text carved into the stone is familiar to you. It is from the time of your ascendancy. However, a lot of the words are faded and cracks run down the smooth surface. A touch of time is definitely visible here. You do know the magic that might restore the text, but it is rather unreliable. Should you still attempt it? Oh, so 20, uh, 20 mana, and we might just waste the mana. Let's do it. You manifest the spell, but the words that emerge are garbled mess. You accomplish nothing but wasting your time and mana. All right, whatever. Okay. Uh, we only got sacrificial artars uh, on our way. What do I want? Do I want Asian coffin with items or... Miracle chest containing artifacts. I kind of want that, but also we don't know what's over there. Maybe this is a, like a longer path. This seems definitely a shorter path. I wouldn't mind taking the, the scenic route here, so let's go that way. These pesky humans. They challenge me. Fuck you. <laughs> Ataman, hunky, guard, demolition expert. Well, they actually deal a shit ton of damage. Especially this Ataman. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? I would like to take out the Ataman. Have a warm end, my friend. But it actually has. Wait. She resisted the whole thing, not just the magic damage, but the entire attack, but also the the fire part. Mm. I mean, this has less damage, but but we gotta take out the Ataman here. Block. I know. Just keep igniting. Okay, this one has armor. Something to keep in mind. That's all you got? Smack talk zombie, I fucking love that. Actually, skeleton. My, my bad. Huh, <laughs> just like trimming dummies. You fucking bastard. Okay, so we can hit everybody. And also... Oh, this is gonna be a pretty good hit. Let's do it. Perish. Yeah, we can stress them out, but currently they are not very stressed. So maybe that's not a good option at all. Wait, what? Did I just go for a regular attack? That was not my intention. Well, we can't prevent that guy from attacking. I'm just gonna hit the Ataman. Turn 3 is about to start. Ah, uh, we can set this guy on fire. Go on fire. We can tell we're zombies. Oh my god, that's... Damn dangerous. Uh, yeah, we've gotta do rats. So, she will not die to the fire. And the thing is, even if I hit her... It wouldn't matter too much. Because we would only establish a dot. Oh, this guy is actually quite weak. We can't take out the demo expert. 
Have a warm end, my friend. So he's gonna take at least nine damage. But that's not good enough. We can't take him out. So someone else have to hit him. This looks hella dangerous. She will die to the fire. No, she will not die to the fire. God damn it. Can I somehow reach her? I can't. I think we're dead. If I... Nah, I can't, can't, can't proc the defense. It's too late for that. Wow. Oh, he had a lot of buffs on him. Yes. So, she will die. He will die to the fire. A lot of people are dying to the fire now. The problem is, the spearman can kill at least the skeleton. And he did. Oh my god, we're in trouble. That was a good skeleton. Oh my god. He's damn tanky. How do we take him out? Abyssal hunger. He's gonna die. I can gain mana. But I shouldn't dick around too much. Alright. Oh, you know, wow. Purging the world ahead of Holy shit. This game is hard. <laughs> so I got... All minions that survive gain additional 2 XP. One time use. Two healed up to max. The skeleton uh, got some XP, and that's a level up. Oh my god. What? Okay, let's go into the graveyard. We have to take out the banshee and the zombie. Oh my god. We're dying. So much. Uh, well, obviously we have to put these guys in. And she's actually kind of useless. Did, did she even level up? I'm like, she's level one. I mean, come on. It's pretty bad. All right. I, I wouldn't be against sacrificing her instead of giving her like a timeout. Uh, what we can do? Creation. We can only make a Bride of Eratus. Let's do it. Uh, a design from my younger years. <laughs> We're in trouble. She does have a a better uh, part, but I would rather upgrade the zombie. I mean, just heal up the zombie. Let's see what the skeleton can do. So the skeleton has the the double attack. That's good. I think we might just go for the maximum tankiness. What is this? I don't, I don't care about the back attacking back. I just I just kind of want this guy to tank. And then we attack the skeleton more often. So he's gonna be the tank. This is the best team I got right now. And that's not saying much. Okay. So someone can go into the arena. We can get 2 XP there. The rat can go to level 3. So if you're not taking him, you should be chilling here. And that's that's all I got. This this is all. This is a uh, position two. This can be used maybe a position three. No, the zombie is not a good fit. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, not a good fit because we can smite from position three. But the zombie needs to be position 2 or position uh, 1. The problem is, she, he's not a good position 1 or 2. It gets hit all the fucking time. And despite the high HP, which is nice, you know? Like, high HP is nice. Shouldn't be underrated. High HP is nice. But that's not good enough. I don't know. Do I take a Banshee? So a Banshee can be position 3. And do I just take 
bad girl? I don't know. Do I have a position too? That, oh, I mean, just anyone level two that I can take. So I can take her. Instead of the bri Bride of Iratus. I don't have a lot of level twos. Uh, just chilling at home. It seems like the obelisk is kind of useless right now. I should just focus on maybe... No, we don't have that. Anyone needs the sacrifice of a Bride of Iratus? I'm totally on board with that. I can't sacrifice that. I, I don't have this mummy. or No, I don't. I don't have those. Oh, yes! Oh, this gives me mana. Is that better than fucking building resources? I think that might be. Alright, well, well, the zombie's gonna be chilling back at home, so might as well just do both. So that's what I got. Everyone is ch chilling at home. The zombie is uh, praying. Oh my god, game is hard. I only got one squad. Uh, sacrifice a minion. Which one? To receive items and artifacts. That's cool. Oh my god, maybe actually just not. Maybe rushing to the exit is, is uh, a viable strategy. Wait, what? What if I... Wait, what? No, 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 I, I don't have a, a, anybody who sacrificed right now. Can I just go back? I, we have to skip, because I should have somebody here to sacrifice. And I don't. Uh, that seems scary. That seems scary as well. I think going for the heal, that's an elite squad. Still, I, I think we're gonna go that way. Wow. What? Okay. <laughs> so we got the swordsman. He has two magic block and no physical resistance. He has one magic block. Reasonably vulnerable to stress. He only deals... Well, these are buffers. And the headsman deals a lot of damage. But we should take him out with... Uh, physical damage, right? But that might not be an option. Reducing their damage by 6 doesn't seem like an amazing option. We can just uh, chest piercer the headsman, but that might not be good enough. Also the flaming skull. We, we should get another ability that deals physical damage. I think we need to do the mystic fortitude here, just to not die. What about you, Bubba? So we can do... 16 damage. This is... Would this... Have a warm end, okay, my let's see friend. What happens with this? Yeah. He blocks it because he's resistant to magic. I think he's gonna block this because he's, again, resistant to magic. Absorb fear. Magic block. They're getting whipped into shape. So they're gonna be damn scary to fight. Yeah, this deals like... Oh my god. Over 100% accuracy. The thing is... I would love to hit with the skeleton. I think we have to. We have to. We have to. I don't have a choice. Have a warm end, this guy needs to my die. Friend. We can hit everybody with Rose for a Lady. I think we have to. Again. She does have some good abilities, but she can't use it from position free. She can't use her ultimate from position free. My kingdom comes. Yeah, that hurts, I know. Fire explosive? <laughs> Is that good enough? Alright, that's the best I got. 
So, he's taking 17 true damage. He's... We can just reduce the damage of everybody. Yeah. We can set him on fire. 17. So we need to attack him quite a, quite a few times. Have a warm end, my This should friend. take him out because he's got... Alright. is pretty good against buffed enemies. I actually he kind of overkilled as well. Uh, we can take out the swordsman. Maybe I should be a little bit careful with my rats. Dust oh, concentration. Dust. Uh, 17. So he will not die. Well, she only deals stress damage. Right? Yeah, he will die. We can do stress damage on everybody. How much else we can do? What, what? 18 damage? What the fuck? This one into furniture. Uh, well, that's kind of tough. Just try to take out the Taskmaster. He is very close to dying. Crit debuff. Yeah, he's gonna die in two turns. Actually... This should be fine. So we do a uh, fire explosive. The zombie. He dies to. Okay. And he's dead. Okay. What a win. And we barely find anything. What the fuck? I need stuff. I need more zombies. I need. No, no, no. Not necessarily zombies. Just. just... Uh, that's kind of like a general phase for more units. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's what we got. The Wraith upgraded. We can head into the graveyard, take out two guys. Holy shit, this is such a must-have, <laughs> upgrading the mortuary. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, now, we got a talent. I don't know what I would go for. I think we need some magic damage? No, 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 no. M well, magic or physical or whatever. One and two positions, get hit for physical damage. I think that might be okay. We can do stress. I don't know, I think that you need to build a party for that. And it seems like... Yeah, I don't have that. The question is, does it increase... Like, increase the chance of receiving parts at the end of battle by 15%? But this is like, additional 15%? Or like, on top of, you know, like... Is that like, plus five for... For two extra points. That kind of matters. Uh, 20 vigor for uh, skeletons. That's nice. But that's only skeletons. That seems okay. I might have to go for like bone spear. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to die. But I think we need an alternative here. So just have magic damage, physical damage, just something. But this would not help me. This is magic damage. So this is like the big magic damage. If we're dealing with a tough fight, then the spine bomb should be the best option. So maybe the spine bomb is gonna be the one I pick up. Okay, fine. Uh, I can craft uh, many, many things now. Uh, 30 IQ for one of the guys. I don't know. So zombie, this is the artillery zombie. And uh, well, first of all, we gotta put in some guys into the uh, mortuary, whoever got wounded the most, and it would be sensible for the Banshee to sit out one one round. We can create... Not sure what. 
a Dark Knight. What I would like is make a Dark Knight. I would I wouldn't mind the library and sacrifice the Dark Knight and get some XP for the main main guy. I think that's gonna fall off a little bit, but right now, beginning of each it battle, embellishes my undead features. minus one magic ward. That's really good. That's one time use. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go into the graveyard and maybe try to build up the library. But it's cost me like one guy. God damn it. Okay, let's make this one guy. And I can only make a Bride of Iratus now. I have a bunch of armors. Ah, <sighs> do I want to make a Bride of Iratus? I think we have to. Just need the body. A lot of women. Okay. Crafted it Fine. That way. We only need this. Oh yeah, great. Oh my god. This is the artillery zombie, right? Yes. So he should be in the back. Uh, she can be over there. And we can have... I don't know who... I don't want to lose the rate. <laughs> it needs to be tankier. God damn it. I like the ghostly fire. That's good. The crowding wind. Uh, I can do without that. Removes all buffs from the target. We just want to spam ghostly fire and not die. <laughs> That's the plan. What is this? Rat gains 6 dread until the end of battle. The rat gains 1 block and 1 ward until the end of battle. That's pretty good. That's a buff. That's that's so much better than a stance. So with that, we are, can actually do something to not die. Spectral fog seems kind of interesting. Uh, we have terrible evasion. Oh, with this we can go for more dread. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of good. So if I went for that then we would just deal more dread damage. But not dying. That seems pretty good. So it's like a toss up between like, oh, do I want three more dread? Or do I want, I mean, this, this seems pretty balanced. But if we are just staying back, if we are staying back, I think this is the choice. But if not, we are, this is position to undo it. This is position free. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh, two rounds, 35 evasion. Or three rounds, overall 75 evasion. But 35 evasion for two rounds, it's probably better. But of course, it matters on which guy is getting hit. Accuracy is okay. I don't know what to go for. I just want to not lose my rate. So I think survival might be the choice. If we are taking him on position 2. But actually we don't have much of a reason to do him on position 2. Because why? This is position 3. Like we don't have a reason to. Wait. The ultimate? Even the ultimate. Is, which is bad. Is on all positions. So... What? Why? It makes no sense. Ah, <sighs> we can sacrifice this guy. In short, while I have managed to gather every scrap of significant mortal knowledge down here, it's about so who's gonna as dull chill there? You'd imagine. We can put in the banshee. She's gonna level up, although not gonna have more health. We gotta put. We gotta use the brat, right? I just w not want to lose the rate. And this seems like pretty good. Like making sure that we avoid one attack. We have to go for this. Just to not die. And we go a little forward if we use that. Alright, whatever. Let's do now, it. Prove yourself worthy of my <sighs> I know. I just don't want to lose the rate. We have a brain that we can install on one of the minions, but there's not much point right now. 
Uh, we just we just have a full crew back at home. Oh, actually, we can refill the mana or. I guess we're gonna refill the mana or heal somebody. Uh, let's just refill the mana. Yeah, apparently this is gonna be an elite squad. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean game over squad. I can't save. I mean, everything is everything I do is could be game over. Oh. Will I ever come? So we got this guy. Elite squad. Number... Oh, number uno. Number uno. And he has uh, nine armor. We got a terrible guy here. At least seems like it. Just by stats alone. He is... Demo expert. Okay, so pretty cool. Obviously, the Dark Knight. Mostly exists to just uh, I think the elite hunky seems like a decent one to take out because he's just weak. But the Dark Knight exists just to uh, tank, and hopefully that's exactly what we will do. You can gain mana. That might be his best use. Dark cleansing, but he goes a little bit back. Ah, oh, okay. Have a little tingle up your spine. Are we just gonna go and hit? Okay. Terror wave. All opponents randomly swap positions. I don't think we, that's a. Yeah, I don't think so. Curse flames. That kind of helps. So, yeah, this is magic damage. I might want to use it on the elite guard, but elite hunky needs to take more damage. Here. You will soon oh, crit? Your okay. New elite hunky will die. <laughs> so we can do a uh, abyssal bombardment, but I, I fucking hate this. I think this is just a bad choice. <laughs> now, every time I do this... Okay, he has zero evasion, so just doing a regular bombardment is fine, but it's actually complete garbage because the physical damage guys will just completely ignore it. So artillery zombie is just a terrible idea, but what the fuck can I do here? Will I just wait a little bit? I think we're just gonna wait. Okay, well, let's curse the guys in the back. We can give out evasion. I might just go for survival. Just to get more wards. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to hit everybody? Extinction of life. This will help the ghost. Oh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, the trap is not wasted. At all. It's gonna take 50 damage. Damn soon. I guess we can put another bomb. Up your spine. Uh, sure. Not exactly how I planned it. What the fuck are you guys doing? What? Stop with the swapping. Alright, time to do the bomb. These guys are just swapping positions non-stop. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing? I don't like the look of that. Can we just take him out? He has magic resistance. Have a little tingle up your spine. Yeah, I don't know. So the ghost is fine now. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Oh, nice. He's almost dead. God damn it. Oh. Die to the bomb. Perfect. Uh, it would be nice to see when the bomb triggers. Because I don't know. 
But I just keep doing gross for a lady? I don't know. I guess it worked so far. He's taking stress damage. Yeah, I, I will move. I won't do that, that's for sure. I don't know. Will I just take shots at the one in the first row? I think that's pretty sensible. Have a warm end, my friend. But he will not die. We will need to hit him. He's gonna die to the fire. Okay, the trap is wasted. Artillery zombie. Just chill in the back, okay? Uh, I guess we're not gonna... Have a warm end, we've another trap. Friend. Just send him on fire. We can't stun him. I can do Abyssal Hunger, which is really good. I would love to do this more. I should do this more. That would make the Dark Knight amazing. I shouldn't waste it on, like, whatever this is. <laughs> ah, that, that looked not good. Uh, let's just go with Ghostly Veil. Vale. No, no, no. What is that? Oh. Oh, survival. <laughs> well, we went into the front. Not the best with survival. Okay, I'll just load the cannon again. Can I just kill this guy? Okay, let's just bite into him, I guess. I can do magic damage to him. Okay. Set him on fire. Whatever. Mop up the gore. Sure. To see a level three brain. Just a lot of fertilizer. And a level three weapon. An epic weapon. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's XP for Iratus. That's nice. Stuff happened back at home. Cool. So these guys can come out. And these go straight back in. <laughs> and the bride of Iratus is going to... I don't fucking know. <laughs> she gained some armor. Wouldn't help too much. She can gain more damage too. I'm not really using the tink of him. It doesn't seem to be worth it. I mean, this is... Obviously, might be worth it in a longer fight, but it needs to be a longer fight. And keep in mind that just because the fight is longer, like, it needs to be longer in a way that we might want to spend it early. Because, you know, the fight goes like, we kill a guy, we kill a guy, we kill a guy, and, you know. But if it's the first phase that is longer, that all the four guys are alive, then, yeah, it's gonna feel a lot longer. <laughs> we gotta take a lot more damage. If I just spend the first turn uh, buffing. Uh, although, this is better, the Long Piercer. This gives me accuracy, which is probably objectively better. We can get free evasion, which is basically useless. Better when enemy moves, deal damage to him. I mean, this is maybe okay if you just combine it with some move effects. Iratus gains 8 mana. So we can do this uh, in a way I to results. Yeah. To heal. <laughs> wow. I, I've seen to be in, in trouble. She obviously cannot uh, go on a mission. We need to get someone else. We need to create someone to go on a mission. Holy shit. This is so bad. Uh, how about you, Banshee? Would you like to go on a mission? I can make another zombie. But the problem with the zombies, even though they are pretty okay... Uh, do I really want to give him the... Uh, the epic weapon? Not so much. I mean, might as well, right? I don't know. Let's give him the epic weapon. No brain, but all firepower. 
Okay. Uh, she needs to heal, but we can't heal her right now. We got the zombie. Problem is... Bombardment. So we got two abilities that can be used... Well, this can be used anywhere, but the bombardment can only use, be used on the in the back. But the best zombie abilities, igniting mixture, and questionary buckshot can only be used in the front. And the skeleton can technically play this position free, but realistically no. I can give this banshee a brain, making her b banshee level free right away. We have to do that. <clears throat> We deal stress damage, but this is the worst ability. When enemy moves, this is kind of crap. This is the way to fill my my uh, mana bar the most. So seems like Banshee is like a spell casting support, most of all. All minions gain 8 dread for uh, their next action. Only the next action. I can give all minions extra attack. But keep in mind that, you know, it's, it's still very questionable. Like, do you really want one character that just, you know, just keeps giving the other characters 5 attack? 5 attack is like 25%, kind of. And that's, that's only if you're using an uh, attack ability. That's tough. I think I, we can go with Soprano. That seems pretty okay. Like, obviously this is better. We can go Crescendo. Make the enemies lose 6 attack. Or make my guys gain 5 attack. And... Remove all buffs from a target. Target loses 8 evasion for 2 turns. Removing all buffs from a target? I can just maybe make it uh, a veil. Do I just... No, it's just not worth it to have a, a banshee in the back. Giving uh, my minions a little bit of extra attack. But it's just not worth it. It is just not good enough. Unless they have like ridiculously low attack and for some reason upping their attack is really worth it. But no. It just doesn't come into play. I think we're just gonna go with Crescendo. My and a big question what else. Surprise. I can remove buffs. That seems okay. This also gives me... Ability not to not die. No, whenever an enemy moves, the Banshee deals stress damage. Block and ward while in this stance. That would be so good. I would like to not die, please. So I got two minions left over. That is not a lot. Also, we got this Banshee. Is she gonna build the same way? Maybe. <laughs> Ignores ward. Nah, just make sure that Banshee doesn't die. So we got two Banshees. Maybe we're just gonna send in a zombie so he's gonna not suck completely. Bride of Iratus. I don't know. We need to heal. But we only heal five hit points over here. Yeah, I, I can't sacrifice anything. Not even the zombie. So that's it. Yeah. At least we didn't lose. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I got a talent. Holy shit. So good. A bone spear. Iratus deals. Extra physical damage. To each enemy at uh, 1 and 2 position. I would like some magic damage. So this deals just straight up magic damage. I would like that a lot. This deals physical damage. Plus extra if the target is on fire. I, I do that quite a bit. That doesn't seem to be super worth it. This is just straight up better. Because 
Well, not straight up. No, it's straight up better. Because this deals... No, no, no. To the target twice? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Because this is like uh, 36, 18... Uh, like, yeah, like, it's basically like 36 damage, because it attacks twice. This is only better if the target is on fire. And Hail of Thief does have the uh, disadvantage that if you're hitting something that has physical resistance, then, then don't do that, <laughs> obviously. Zombie passive boost. Bone Spear. Are there any good ones here? What? But I've checked that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Some time ago, it just doesn't seem like we have really good options here. Soul Leech is terrible. <laughs> One of my minions take 20 damage. Terrible. But Curse Doll, that looks good. That looks very good. Of course, not as good as the Spine Bomb. As long as it actually triggers. But Cursed Doll does look very, very good. Mocking Slap. Uh, that is ex also excellent. It has 20 damage to all enemies, but it like costs like everything. So, I don't know. Maybe we go Bone Spear. Just to just to be more balanced here. Do I need that though? I think I, think I really want to go for the Mocking Slap. Alright, let's go for the Mocking Slap. I don't feel like we need the Hailing Thief as well, if we go for the Mocking Slap. Eh, whatever. To the dungeon. And the next one is actually just gonna be a chest containing stuff. I could use that. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.